I am going to show you how to create a drag and drop activity on Seesaw. The first thing you want to do is create your template in Google Slides. You want to make sure that you do not put your drag and drop activities into your template or they will be converted to a PNG or image file and you will not be able to drag them. So make your bare bones template and then you're going to come up to file and you're going to hit download. I use this method because I have multiple slides in this page and they are not all going into Seesaw. So I'm going to download mine as a PNG image. So it will download and then I will go to my downloads folder where the image appeared. So you can see there it is. It looks just like our Google slide. So once I have my template ready to go, I am going to hop on to Seesaw. I'm going to hit the green add button and I'm going to assign activity. Create new activity. Type in my title. We're going on a bear hunt. We'll call it read aloud. And then for my instructions, step one, I'm also going to be inserting a read aloud video. So step one will be click on the picture to listen to our story. You can put the hyperlink right in the directions, but I choose to include that as the multimedia instructions. Step two, click add. Step Three is going to be drag and drop the images to show the order of our story, of the story. Step four, use the mic to retell the events in our story. Okay? So I'll just review my steps. Step one, click on the picture to listen to, and we'll get, and I'll change that to the story. Click add. Step three, drag and drop the images to show the order of the story. Step four, use the mic to retell the events in the story. Okay, so then I'm going to hit add multimedia instructions link, and I am just going to, oh, my link disappeared. Oh, there it is. I am just going to copy. So let me go back to it. I'm just going to copy my YouTube link and paste that in the URL box and hit the green check. I also like to post it in a caption underneath because some devices, there's sometimes there's a little bit of trouble. Uh, when they go to click on the image, so that way it is just another way to access the YouTube video. Okay, and now I'm ready to upload my template for my students. So I'm going to hit Add Template, and because I saved it as a PNG, it is an image file. So I hit Upload. I'm going to come over to my folder, and I'm just going to drag that template right in to the um, box and I'm gonna hit the green check. Okay, now it is locked in Seesaw. Whoop, my pencil was on. It is locked in Seesaw so the students won't be able to move it. And now I'm ready to go ahead and add those drag and drop, drop images. So I just go over to my images folder and I drag the images in that I want the students to be able to use for this activity. Um, and you can select multiple and then just drop them all in at once. And they are a little too big, so I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to resize them. And there you go. So now I have in all of the items that I want my students to be able to drag and drop. And so you can see they will just be able to move those down. 
um, and it'll be really easy for them. So I'm going to hit, oh, leave that lined up for them. I'm going to hit the green check. And now my option is ready to save. And I will show you what this looks like from the student view. So we'll assign it to our test class, assign to one class. When the students go to read the instructions, I typically have a voice recording for all of my instructions since I teach first grade and I have students at multiple reading levels. They will be able to click right on the link, which will open up the YouTube video. And then after they watch the YouTube video, they'll close that. They'll come back to Seesaw and then they will click step two, add response. They'll select their name. Uh, depending on what device they're on, if it, they have multiple users. And now they will just drag and drop to place these in the order of our story. And then I have them hitting the mic and they're going to go through and retell everything that happened in our story. Then they will hit the green check to submit. And there you go. All right. Thanks, guys.